Yeah, yeah, man, it's the homie Hood Legend back with another vlog. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay in tune with everything going on in the battle rap. Let's talk about this smack. Talking about he ain't dropping no more battles on YouTube and he's totally independent and all this and that. That's crazy, bro. Look, smack. You gotta drop the battles on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? At least once every three months, bro. Give the people in the world something to look forward to or like keep your channel going i know you don't some people don't care about a million subscribers but i know you can't monetize like that because it's just like youtube is a is a crazy business i know like when i upload on youtube and i monetize like even if you got two cuss words in your in your video bro they're like limiting your videos haven't y'all seen that hip-hop is real is, is editing their videos now they used to get in do interviews and put them out Immediately now they're just like editing their videos and if they're taking their time with putting these videos out They're just not throwing them out there as soon as they get these videos Because YouTube is not paying them like that because these battlers are cussing and saying nigga this and nigga that and the you know what I'm saying the video so it's not gonna get fully monetized like that you know what I'm saying and you know smack is kind of getting away from that and they're kind of I'm thinking they're kind of trying to renegotiate their caffeine deal you know what i'm saying i don't think the caffeine deal was for 10 years i don't think it was for 15 years i think they're doing maybe a two-year three-year deal at a time with caffeine and then they got to go back to the table and renegotiate you know what i'm saying if the numbers are looking good they got to go back to the table and renegotiate if the numbers are looking bad they got to go back to the table and renegotiate you know what i'm saying because no company is going to give people X amount of dollars and you're not meeting the obligations or the expectations that the company had or that y'all told them that y'all could do when they first signed the contract. So re renegotiations is probably going on right now with caffeine and that's why Smack is saying he's independent like Uncle Rob probably caught him in between, you know what I'm saying, him renegotiating contracts or whatever he was doing, you know what I'm saying? But for Smack and Beasley and Chico and the team not to throw any more battles on YouTube is just it's preposterous this is preposterous y'all dudes have to throw these videos up there bro this is kind of keeping the battler's name alive like everybody is sitting on the app and they're dying you know what i'm saying like even none none came and said he wasn't doing it no more until somebody actually you know what i'm saying called him with an extra two hundred dollars or whatever the case may be and he jumped right back on board you know what i'm saying these battlers they're not going to go against the hand that feed them not knowing that you know what I'm saying? That they can go elsewhere and get the same money they're getting. But when you're locked into a contract that the, the URL is locking you in the contract and you can't do anything else for the next five years, then you have no other choice but to bow down to that league. But we actually seen Hollow go elsewhere. We seen Ill Will go elsewhere. We seen uh, a couple of other battles go battlers go elsewhere. Uh, where's JC? He was going elsewhere until he like he won that 100k. JC, you're missing. What's going on, bro? They haven't booked JC ever since then. But anyway, back to what I was saying. Smack is it, it, kind of like they got to go back to the caffeine table. And I, I I seen something online that was saying that basically he's gonna actually start dropping Super Fight Saturday every Saturday. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I guess I don't know how long that's gonna last, but we'll see how long that's gonna last. You know what I'm saying? Like with these mid-tier battlers that they're trying to push because they don't want to pay the money to the top-tier battlers, K-Shine and all these other guys. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, Smack, you know, Smack is Smack, man. Smack can say some things. He probably was drunk that night. He probably didn't know what was going on. He didn't know if they was going to renegotiate with, uh, with caffeine or what was going on. You know what I'm saying? He might have just been sending caffeine an ultimatum in that video because they know that they watch 15 Minutes of Fame and these... Uh, media and these media outlets that's connected to battle rap you know what i'm saying so ain't no telling what smack was doing but i feel like smacking them at least need to drop a battle once every three months because that keeps the battler's name alive everybody's dying on the app bro they're dying and i, I do my little reaction videos my little one two reaction videos i haven't did a, a one in a while but I'm, I'm about to get back into the reaction lane you know what i'm saying but with these reaction videos it kind of helps the battlers that's why i was saying like when i do my reactions like some of the battlers was actually in my comments commenting because they know that that's the that's the closest thing that they're that content can get to YouTube. I was actually getting y'all to YouTube when I was doing my reaction blogs. Like, people didn't actually see that. You know what I'm saying? So, like, 
Smack is not dropping it, but I feel like they need to drop one battle. You know what I'm saying? Especially if it's a fire battle. Drop the battle after it's done, did the numbers on the app. Because after the app, it's only so much that people are going to go back and try to check for these battles. And, and, and like people were saying, it's just like... Like the battle happens, and you like we just got the Snake Eyes and Tay Rock battle, the, the the drop on the app. You know what I'm saying? Like yesterday, but that battle already happened probably like almost a month and a half ago, bro. That happened around Christmas. That happened last year. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, fam. We are into the second month of the year. You know what I'm saying? And that battle is just not dropping. Come on, that like there should be no way that we have to wait a month, a paid customer waiting a month. For something to drop you know what i'm saying like the day in america everything is microwave we're in a microwave era bro everything is fast it's updated you hear about it next week you hear about something else you know what i'm saying so with the consumer and everything so high right now like like i want when i, when I pay for something i want it right then i don't want to wait in the mail and say like i'm ordering something offline if that take too long i'm gonna be, be be requesting my money back you know what i'm saying like because when i pay for my goods i want my product right then i'm not gonna go in the store and say oh give me those gucci shoes i'm about to pay you two bands for those gucci shoes and then i'm gonna wait for you to mail them to my address a month later that's not gonna happen bro I, i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna go in the barbershop and pay you for a lineup and you telling me come back next month i got you no that's not gonna happen when i pay you for my services i want what i'm paying for right then so by what am i what i'm trying to say is the actually analogy of it is when we pay for the app we're subscribers that we're subscribing every month that we're paying a service fee from our account and our our hard-earned money because you don't know what people do to get their money but we pay for you know with our money for the app we want to get good battles dropping you know what i'm saying at least at least one battle from the event drop you know what i'm saying the next week you know what i'm saying like i'm not even saying the next day get bro give it two or three days i know you gotta edit i know you gotta get your line line your, your vocals up with the video you gotta sync it i get it you know what i'm saying but at least have it a week out of time that people actually get something of what they being paid for instead of having to wait a month you know what i'm saying you got people on the internet searching for bootlegs <laughs> It's just getting crazy, bro. So with all that being said, URL, I just feel like y'all kind of need to go back into the lab and kind of revise the situation and the plan to figure out what y'all going to do to actually, you know, kind of figure out when you go lock these videos in and drop these videos in a timely manner. And I know Beasley said that, you know, uh, we're going to drop the whole events. You know, we're just going to drop the whole event and we're going to wait another week to drop another whole event. But what happened yesterday with the Snake Eyes and Rock? That was one battle. You know what I'm saying? Like, so they're not even keeping their word to what they're saying they're going to do. You know what I'm saying? So, bro, uh, with that being said, man, y'all niggas let me know what y'all think down in the comments, what you all real need to do as far as revising the app because the app has been the same since they actually came out with it. They need to do different things with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, kind of create different lanes for the app to bring in different revenue. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, it's the homie hood legend. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Till next time, subscribe. I'm out.